Hey friends, it's Wayne Polson here. Today is T minus 36 days and counting until the big reveal. Some of you have been trying to guess what that big reveal is. Go ahead and keep guessing. Guess all you want. Guess many times in a day. I am not going to tell you until the day. Okay? Some of you know, and those of you who know, you better keep your, you know what, shut your mouth. Now, what am I here for? Oh yeah, so today, there were a couple comments on yesterday's video. Yesterday's video was Rakers, Riders, Drags, and Depth Gauges Part 2, and there were some great observations made from the previous two videos about how I was placing this Husqvarna Progressive Depth Gauge on the chain. The observation was that it seemed like this particular little notch right here was not always in the same place. There was a misconception that this notch should go around the cutter in front of the raker that we're working on. No, shouldn't do that. What's important about this notch is that this little cutout right here sets down firmly on the links. That's all that's important about that. The second important thing is, and that may really be the first important thing, you make sure that the raker you're working on falls into this window. So get the raker in the window and it'll actually fall into this little notch here and then make sure this notch is resting on the link in front of the raker. And then back here, you want to make sure that the cutter top plate that belongs to the raker is touching so that you have a nice tight relationship between this raker, the top plate, and the links in front of the raker. Does that make sense? Let's watch the video. I'll show it to you. All right, short video tonight, folks, I promise. Okay, so all I really want to demonstrate to you here, there were questions, of course, about how this gauge is positioned because in the previous two videos, I didn't really focus on placement of this too much, but today I want to clarify that. Um, let's go back to the hardwood setting. So in the hardwood setting, this window is farther away from this tailpiece here, this little groove. It's farther away. On the soft setting, this window is closer to this tailpiece here. Okay, so what I'm going to do, starting with the hardwood side, we're going to look for the raker to go through the window just like that. In this particular case, you have to straddle the cutter in front of the raker. The important thing is to get this raker in the window and to get this tailpiece down on the link. Now, if you notice, I've got the raker aligned to this groove right in here. It's aligned right inside this groove. That way it does not move side to side. The tail piece of this gauge is setting on the link and it is straddling this particular cutter. This side of the tool is resting on the top plate of the cutter that this raker belongs to. So at this point, you can see, if I level this out for you, there's just a tiny bit that protrudes there that I could file off for the hardwood setting. So I probably will do that. Now, if we switch to the soft side, you'll notice that I line up the raker with that slot. Now when I push the tailpiece down, it falls way short of the cutter in front of it. Okay, that's because this window is closer to the tailpiece. You want to make sure that the, the tool is setting on the top plate. And now if you take a look in this setting, you can see there's more of the raker revealed here to be removed for softwood. So I hope that clears things up a little bit. Hey friends, well that's it for the night. That's it for the Progressive Depth Gauge Tool by Husqvarna. I'm gonna move on to a new chapter, I think. This video is short, isn't it? Told you, I told you I'd make it short. I told you, I told you. I like sleeping, I want sleep, I've gotta sleep. A video a day has been driving me crazy, but I'm gonna do it. 36 more days and counting, folks. Folks, spread the love around your neighborhood. Spread it around your family. Spread it to your mother, your brother, your uncle, your aunt, your father, your... Did I say mother already? Anyway, just spread the love all over the place and have a great night. See ya.